There was a time where I would, my favorite dope was anything given to me by a naked lady. <laughs> but I've changed. <laughs> you had to know a black guy. I, I knew Mexican guys. And then quickly I knew white guys that would go down to Tijuana and buy a brick and then come back. And then when you opened up the brick, there'd be like a big fist-sized thing of mold. That smoked really good. I had a Chinese guy give me my first joint. I didn't know when I was going to get the second joint, so that first joint lasted about three months. Kids nowadays, they just go to their mother's drawer. Yeah. Kids come to you today, go on, Dad, can I have some weed? It's like they're trying to borrow the car. <laughs> Chinese food was our, our go-to go because being a half Chinese, I learned uh, how to order real Chinese food. There is a difference. So white people's Chinese food is called like number 35. <laughs> Anything that doesn't smell bad, that's my munchie food. <laughs> I've been getting them more lately than I ever did in my life. Because you get high, man, you'll eat shit the dog won't eat. <laughs> so Cheech has a problem with edibles. I do. As, as long as we've been smoking weed, he still can't. The Lord told me don't do it anymore. You'd think somebody would learn. <laughs> no. Look before you eat it. Yeah. I mean, I'm me, I like bud. I mean, just like bud, put it in a pipe, smoke it. Hey, that's kind of technology for me. If it involves more than striking a match. <laughs> you know, like the, the vape pen? They're cool for a while, but then I don't know how to reload them. I don't know how to do anything. So. But I've done, I've done that. I've done yeah, the whole thing. I've like done the, you know, I'm cool. Cheech is still trying to figure out what's an edible, what's not <laughs> yeah, edible. That, that's in my future. I think in the future you can just think about wanting to get high and you get high. The culture itself has been around forever. And the government's always been behind. They found a, an old interview that we did on Playboy magazine. And in that interview, they were asking the same question. And this was back in the 70s. In the olden days. And, and our response was, what if we're right? And weed has medical benefits and all kinds of benefits. <laughs> it's Chichi Joe, what if we're right? Well, we're right. <laughs> we are right. Me too. Has pot etiquette changed? Only, only if you're smoking with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> Snoop Dogg will bogart that joint until, like until it's down burning his fingers. He'll sit there and talk to you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah, you know.